So it's honey time. We are extracting. The bees have been very productive this year and have uh, had a good spring nectar flow. So we are now collecting the honey off of the colonies that they uh, have stored. We're basically robbing them of the honey that they have worked so diligently to produce. You know, we remove the bees and we uh, take these honey supers, these boxes that are on top of the beehive, uh, which should contain pure honey. So each frame is exactly that. Let me turn this around here. This is capped honey. So if we actually just break open the cappings, you will see that there's honey underneath that. And what we will do is we will take those cappings off and we will place it in an extractor, which will sling the honey out of there. We'll uh, filter the debris out of the honey and then jar it. And this right here is exactly what you will be eating if you're eating pure raw honey. All right, to so just basically take the cappings off of there. Break those tops of those cappings. The bees will redraw the comb. This is the spring nectar flow. So they, they can fill one of these supers in a week. Uh, it takes a bee um, two million flower visits to produce one pound of honey. So we run the honey through a filter system, um, not because there's anything bad, but we get little flakes of wax and little bee parts and debris and stuff in there. So we gotta make sure that, that gets filtered out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, that's magical. Oh, that actually looks really good. Honey good is one of the few agricultural products that uh, we can collect where there's very little environmental damage. In fact, the having bees in an area is a benefit to most of the native plants and as well as our agricultural plants. Uh, we would hope that the public understand that. When they go to buy that jar of honey and they, they see the high price tag on it, they must know that there's a lot of work and a lot of in, time spent by the beekeeper to make that honey happen.